Here. Ralph. Here. Rick. Here. Joe. Here. And Jimmy is absent. Is there any changes or questions on the minutes from the October meeting? If not, I need a motion to accept. So moved. Second. Roll call. Rick? Yes. Ralph? Yes. Nick? Yes. Joe? Yes. Mary Jane? Yes. Is there any questions on the warrants or payroll timesheets? If not, I need a motion to approve. So moved. Second. Who seconded? Rick. Roll call. Joe? Yes. Nick? Yes. Ralph? Yes. Mary Jane? Yes. Rick? Yes. I need a motion to approve the transfer of police revenue from the general fund to the police fund. Second. Second. Joe. Yes. Mary Jane. Yes. Ralph. Yes. Rick. Yes. Nick. Yes. Okay, I need a motion to approve the police fund monthly operating fund transfer of nine hundred thirty-two dollars. So moved. Second. Roll call. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. Nick? Yes. Mary Jane? Yes. Ralph? Yes. Well, I need a motion to approve the interest transfers. So moved. Second. Roll call. Joe? Yes. Mary Jane? Yes. Rick? Yes. Ralph? Yes. And Nick? Yes. Next on the agenda is Susan Skids Walks from Moe Associates. I don't see Susan. I know. But anyway, we need to discuss about this anyway. There was, a couple, there was two come to us tonight on whether we had to make a decision on whether or not we were going to continue to do the projects and uh, put up the monies, the match monies, to do so. I feel personally that this put us in a bad spot. You know, we don't know what this income tax is going to be, or what, what kind of money we're going to see from it or where it's going to go. And if we go ahead and, and put this money out there, by June next year we're going to be out. That's going to put the hurt to us. Because in all of the January we're still going to lose funds. We're still going to be cut by the state and the rest of our local government funding will be gone. Yeah, they've already told us that. They've already told us that. It's already coming. It's the way it's going to be. I hate to get money back. I hate not to do the project to help our community, but at the time, the same thing, I don't want to put us in a spot where we're running out of money. Uh, I think it's senseless. I think it's put us in a bad spot. That's my opinion. So you, you people need to make the, the decision on that. Well, I feel the same way. Uh, we can't, I mean, there's, we got to keep the village going the best we can. And hopefully those grants will still be there and we can reapply at a yeah. later date. But, and I hate, I really hate to see us not do it, but again, we just don't have the money. If we give all that money, there's a $90,000, right, match money yeah. for ninety five. We just can't do it. Not and survive. And survive. Oh, we're we going to be doing good to survive anyway. That's all right until. And uh, we don't know uh, how much this income tax is going to. And we won't see those bring in for what, right, right, eighteen months. Or, right. It'll be eighteen over months a year before we see that anything off from that. Other than the business. Right. We have to pay quarterly. Okay. So well, I feel know. I feel like we need to give it back. And not do the project. And not do the project at this, this time. time. That's my opinion. You know, I, I, we can always we can always reapply. You know, when we when we get a situation. But, yeah. Yeah. If yeah. not, you know, we got the ordinance where the people sh are supposed to be fixing their own sidewalks and everything else. But I know this involves a lot more than just sidewalks. Well, then I'm going to ask council to make a make a decision on that, and I want to vote so that we can give it to back to Purple County, so that Purple County can move on and maybe another community that has the money, use the money, or, or you know, however that's going to go. Is that going to affect the other Main Street thing? Absolutely. The project. We've give it all back. We already took. Yeah, we've already told. We already took that one off. We already oh, told. Okay. We've already done that one. Yeah. Um, 
And I hate that too. Yeah, I mean, but then they said they weren't going to make us pay that much, match money, but they were I didn't. Give us something. I don't remember that. They were give us a percentage. I don't remember exactly word for word. Like, word but it was, tied, it was tied to the Washington Street pro right. project. Right, yeah. There was, there was, was a way to bring it in underneath that. Yeah. But under the circumstances, I mean, my feeling about the matter is too, so I hate to give anything back. Especially when it benefits uh, the yeah. residents here in the community, but uh, at the risk of uh, you know doing this, we could very well, uh, like Neil said, shut ourselves Damn. down here or lose the money that we have for uh, our police force. And our police force is far more important to the village than sidewalks and streets. So it would be my recommendation of in the form of a motion and. And we'd like to thank the commissioners and Susan Skips especially for this town owes her a great deal of uh, gratitude for all she's done for us because that lady's one of the last things done for us. But uh, in order for the commissioners to have time to find another community, we need to act on that tonight. So in a form of motion, I would recommend to council that we uh, forego the project Washington Street Phase 3 and uh, give the money back to the commissioners to distribute somewhere else. I second. Roll call. Ralph. Yes. Nick. Yes. Joe. Yes. Mayor Jim. Yes. Rick. Yes. Okay, committee reports. Safety. Chief. Police Department handled 113 calls for service in October. We took 19 reports, made four arrests, issued 10 citations and 18 warnings, and then found it one vehicle. Nick, Ralph, any questions for the chief? Or, uh, it's not at this time. Anybody else have any questions for the chief? Building committee? Uh, um, streets? I'm not aware of. I've got something up there on that bridge on Spring Street that's up my name. There's a bad notch up that just keeps yeah. getting bigger and bigger. Bigger. Billy was supposed to be a forward from the solution to that. We're okay. trying to fix that house. Billy, we're going to cut it out. We're going to have to go run the air hammer. We're going to cut that out. Build a form and concrete it. Yeah. So. Okay. I got you. Where is it at? Yeah. The bridge right on Spring Street. From oh. Spring and Flinger. Yeah. Right where you do. We're trying to do it as cheaply in-house as we possibly can without getting contract. And I think we can do that. I think we can air hammer that out there. I know. Build a form and he came to me today and uh, I had to be there with you. Or to Smith's a few years And um, speaking of Susan, his brought to me today with Jason Bracken on the leaf flower that was broke. Uh, he's talking it's going to be a little bit expensive because he did that. I told him just go ahead and do it. He can, he can, he can fabricate it in and re weld it and do it and make it better and stronger than what it was. So I told him to go ahead and do that. And then, you know, it's, it's about 300 bucks, right? So, Susan, do you have Susan? Are you ready? Susan. Are you ready? Susan. We'll finish this. Yeah, we'll finish the committee report. Go ahead, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Lights? Don't have anything this time unless, unless somebody notices, the chief notices, somebody's noticed some lights out. There was a stall fly out. I think it got it here, didn't it? No. You no, know, the, the dump trucks at my breeds get repaired. That's our only way up to that. Oh, okay. So oh. I, so as soon as we get the dump truck back, we'll replace that stuff. Out. Okay. Finance committee. Uh, we don't have anything other than what we've already discussed here this evening. Sanitation. Nothing. I need to send more letters out. I just haven't had time to do it. Okay. Planning commission. No. BPA. Resolution and ordinance. Jane? Yes. This is to read. Oh, wait a minute. Why do you want to Yeah, we want to go back to talk to Susan. Yeah. Let's go back and talk to Susan. Okay, on your question on the, on the projects, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You wanted to decide. Kim Keller is kind of like pushing it. She's loving me, so kind of need to like give her an update of some kind. I didn't really want to say anything until I knew 
was in regards to you know what wanted to do with um, the East Main Street project is where kind of where she's at. And the Washington Street project obviously is separate; they're not tied together. So allowing you to tie them together to help with the East Main Street project if that's what you want to do. Well, we we just discussed that, and we had we decided not to do either one. Okay. We decided it was, and I don't want to. I don't want to not do that. Right. I would love to be able to do it, but the simple fact is, it's going to put us in a financial burden. Okay. It's going to put us in a bad spot, and we're afraid that uh, halfway through the year, we're going to run out of money. Okay. Okay. I think we're thinking that maybe down the road we can uh, go back to this and, and try to keep it in the pipeline and, and reapply. And we definitely want to thank you right. for all the work you've done with the village and, 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 and your company for working with us on this. but. Under the circumstance, even though we passed the income tax, we thought maybe we might be able to do this project, but it's just going to be such a, such a close call that and I definitely don't want to give it back, but I don't, want to, I don't want to hang on and hang on and then rob the commissioners of an opportunity to give this to another community that can come up with the matching funds. So, unfortunately, that's where we're at financially. I mean, it's your, you know, that's kind of why we held on as long as we did, so that you could kind of try to figure out what you wanted to do, or you know, there's an opportunity where you want to do part of it. Um, the East Main Street would be kind of hard to do part of it. Yeah. The Washington Street project is a, a prorated grant, so if you wanted to do part of the project and, you know, put X dollars towards it and do X part of it and then give the rest of the money back, that's an option for you. I don't know if you thought about that. And I'm not trying to change your mind. You know, it's just like if you would want to do one end or the other, and you say, okay, well, we could probably come up with X dollars to match against this much of it, do that <coughs> part of it, and then just give the rest of it back and we can do part of it. I mean, so that one we could probably do that way. If we can do 60% of the project, then we'll get 60% of the grant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You just give the rest of the We need to figure out if there's a number that we're comfortable with spending. Basically, that's a 7B for 26% grant. You put in 26, they pay 74%. Right. So if you decided you wanted to do part of it, we would just design and do that part of it, and you pay whatever the share was. And I could probably do some numbers if that would help you figure out the Washington Street part. You know, if you said, okay, we just want to do the in down, you know, the the south. End. We don't want to do north. We just want to do south. End. Once again, let's just do the south. End. And then what would our match be to that? And if that was something that you want to look at, we could do that because that one. You, you can give back however much of it you want if you want to be part of it. But you, you know, it's still the 70, 40, 26 percent match. That stands. When you say give it back, though, is that giving it back to the commissioners to be able to use, or is that giving it back to the state that's going? The commissioners don't get a shot to give it to somebody else. Well, you've got two different things going. You've got the CDBG money, which is East Main Street, and that's the 47 thousand. That goes back to the commissioner. They give it to somebody else in the county. Okay. That's the one that she said that she would eliminate your match if right. you wanted to put it with the, the Washington Street. Right. So that money will go back to the commissioners and they'll be able to do it with somebody else. Why don't we just do part of that in the project and still bring it in and not have to do the match for that? Part of what? The East Main Street project? Uh, the, you said that one's 40000 right? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's so your grant, grant was $41,000. What's that? Your grant was $41,000 on that project. And our match was four, it was total your eight. Your match was 40. It was total eight. Oh, okay. They were supposed to just give up the match and we tied it, we tied it. Right. 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 We were still going to be out. So, half of that, is that what you're saying? The original estimated cost of the project was $80,000, 81000 and our matchup was going to be pay 40 to get 41 back to do the project. Right. But then they were willing to forgive our match, which is the 40,000. If we tied it into Washington Street project. Right, because we could probably get the cost of it could we do part of yeah, that we still do, maintain that? We do that. part of the Washington... Could we still keep the 40,000 for the East Bay? Exactly. I would say chances are probably yes, but we'd probably have to cut down what you can with it, like maybe we could just replace the sidewalk and we didn't do any of the asphalt work. I mean, to me, it seems like we need to figure out if we are comfortable 
spend some money, and then we'll get a percentage of the one match, and then we might be able to slide that whole 40,000. 40, I, yeah, I mean, I can talk to him about it and see what she says. But back to the original question, which we haven't answered yet, that they can give the 40 back. Let's talk about yeah, the, the big part of where that money goes back and who that goes back to. Yeah, the 250000 $250,000 public works grant that you have that you match with 97. If you say we don't want that money, then it goes back into District 11's issue 2 pot and then they give it out to somebody else in District 11. So it didn't necessarily go back to the commissioners to give no, it to no someone pay. else they in Preble no County. In Preble County. County There's no guarantee it'll come back to Preble County. It could be in Union County, Champaign. It could be in any of the counties of the district. The commissioners have no tie to that money, zero. There's, they have nothing to do with that money at all. They don't have even anybody that sits on that board. Uh, Kyle Croft actually is the one that sits on that board that represents Preble County, but he's just a board member in so people, you know, basically what will happen is that money will go back into their contingency fund and whatever projects they have on the contingency list will be funded and it could be in one of the counties within the district but who knows where, just depending on whatever project that is. So the commissioners have, the commissioners have nothing in that money. The CDBG money, the 40000 41000 for the East Main is making it to somebody else's program. So Ken's breathing down our neck over the okay, main 40, street yeah, over the project and not the Washington Street project. Correct, correct. She and our timeline on the Washington Street project oh, is next year sometime, right? Well, yeah. As long as we can just kind of keep keep under their radar. Yeah. We're going to make like a final decision in March, right? If we had a full 12 on that, then we have to march to, to do that. Yeah. The Washington Street one? No, not necessarily. Okay. I mean, Technically, you're supposed to spend the money within two years of when you get it. We got it in 11. So really, you just have to spend it by 13. By the end of 13. Well, technically, by July 1st of 13. They probably give you the money. And that's the one that you have 250000 You have $250,000. So let's say that you decide you want to do a $100,000 project. And you use seventy five, seventy six thousand dollars, seventy four thousand dollars of their money, and you put in twenty six thousand. And you do a hundred thousand dollar project, and then the difference between the two fifty and the seventy six takes to you. And then it goes back in that contingency fund, and they give it to somebody else within the district. And then you can apply to later. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. The person is still around for But you see what I'm saying? It's not like you have to take the whole two fifty, or or it's not right. you know all or nothing. That was my assumption that we had to do it all. No, no we couldn't do it all. You wouldn't have to on the Washington Street project. You could just be part of it and then use however much of the grant money you can want, put your 26% towards it, and what you don't use, you when you close out the project, they just take it back and they give it to somebody else. That changes the scenario. Yeah, it does. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. I'm glad you came. Yeah. I'm glad you came. Yeah. Like I'm saying, we voted to give the money right, back and not right, do it. Right, okay. But I guess I just wanted you to realize yeah, that with the Washington Street, there's a lot. I want, I'd like to make a motion that the motion that I made about giving the money back and rescind it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, maybe we need, maybe you need to rescind it, but maybe we need to investigate what is it do you think, what do you think needs to be done the worst? What's the priority? And how much is that going to cost? And can you make that work? You know what I'm saying? I think that's the real, the real question. Would, would we be able to just figure out budget-wise what we can afford and then... Yeah. You, you tell, tell me, us, if you, you say tell us what we, we can spend $30,000, which means we can have, you know, $80,000 of grant money, what can we do for $110,000? If that's what you want to tell me, then I can say, okay, this is some scenarios of what you can do with $110,000. I think mean, first we have to make the motion to rescind that. And I've already done that. I second. I <laughs> second. <laughs> Sorry. Here, <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Jane, Sunday. A motion to give the money back, the grant money back. And not do the project. And not do the project. Okay. And Joe. Joe second. Now we need a roll call. 
glad you showed up. So well, I'm glad you showed up. <laughs> Under the circumstances, yeah. yes. <laughs> Jack. Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> we still may have to do it, but we yeah, got yeah, it. We still need this. Yeah. So we need to ask Kim. We need an answer from Kim that if we do if we was to do part of the project, mm -hmm. is she still going along with the And I can project? ask her that tomorrow. Yeah, what percentage, I guess, would we have to do for her? Okay, I can ask her that. And then we'll have to sit down and crunch the numbers. Okay. And we'll see what we got. But is it up to her to give the percentage? Well, I think that she's probably, she may have to go talk to the commissioners yeah. about it. You know, and just say, you know, they're only going to be part of the project if we still don't have the whole 40000 right. And then I think it's probably going to be a matter of, if you're not going to do the whole project, there was kind of some extra contingency money in that whole project that we were going to try to use to make up the 40000 that you weren't putting in, that we're not probably not going to have. So I think the question may be to her, can they still have the 40000 if they combine it with a, with a smaller Washington Street project, but maybe we only do a smaller part of the East Main Street project. So maybe we only sort of do the sidewalk. Right. Well, you still let us have the whole 40000 Yeah, exactly. I think that's probably the question, because I think it's going to be difficult if we cut the main, the Washington Street project down to be able to do the whole the original scope of the Main Street project with the 40000 But I think we could definitely probably do the sidewalks and the curbs maybe, it's and the trees, and then there's a wedge it back in on Main Street. And then, you know, I think we need to consider maybe just if we do anything on Washington Street, doing a wedge and not doing the paper. And then in a couple of years, whenever that comes back in and pays it, we'll do it. Because that's coming back. That's there. coming up. Yeah, and then you don't spend your money paving it just so they can come in and, you know, mill it off and repave it. You spend your money just, you know, doing the curve and then you just do a wedge. And I don't know if any of you have been over in uh, Lewisburg, but that's kind of what they did out there on 40. Mm -hmm. It looks yeah. kind of nasty for a little while, but most people, you know, unless you're looking at it, you probably don't notice it. You know, I do, but that's, that's me. But most people probably don't. <laughs> you know, and then once it gets paved, it all goes away. You know, and, and I think that's an option here that we can just wedge it in. You know, and basically you just build back your base and you put some concrete there along where you dig out your curb, but you don't pay for the whole street. And then you just lost a big pavement bill. You know, that would be part of this that you just basically take out of the picture. That would just wedge it there. And that would be a way we try to cut some costs and still get, you know, the sidewalk and the curb and the tree and that kind of thing. Just kind of be creative. So are you voting not to give the 40000 to the same one? Yes. Yeah, we're going to hold off on that, too. <laughs> Include that in my motion. Right. Well, we rescinded exactly what we did. With no. You rescinded. The Washington Street phase three is what we rescinded. You rescinded Mary Jane's motion, motion. to not do this project of the 250000 to give it back. You had previously on February 6th voted to return the 40. Yeah. I'll make a motion to rescind the motion from February 6th. I'll second that for 40,000. Wow. You really need to take it. Okay, so you have some time. And you have to give. Second. Roll call. Hey, Mary Jane. Yes. Ralph. Yes. Rick. Yes. Nick. Yes. Joe. Yes. Well, we start all over again. I'll talk to Kim. That's what you need to do. I'll talk to her tomorrow. And we'll have it for our December meeting. And then in the meantime, you guys, before the December meeting, if you guys can try to figure out you know, how much you think of a match you can come up with and feel comfortable with that. And if you want to try to let me know in between times, then I can try to back it into a number, you know, and try to give you some scenarios of maybe what we can do with it so that that might help you make a decision. Or if you don't want to go that far with it, you just want to say, we'll let you know in December what we think we can handle that time to do. 
that'd be the smart thing to do. Let it crunch the numbers for us. Agreed? Great. Yeah, we need to crunch the numbers. We, yeah, we need we to crunch the numbers. Numbers. We need to crunch the numbers. We need to crunch the You need to come up with a number. Yeah. Like Joe said. If I, why give you a number? Right. Can you tell us what we can I'm, do for that? I'm, yes, I well, think we should do that's that. What I mean. Right. Because you don't have to. Because I, understand I guess that's why I'm aware of that or I missed that somewhere along the line. So that's I don't know that it was ever an option because yeah, he always used to talk, talk no matter what. Right. You know, and it was just kind of one of those things. And you know, we have to stay within the scope. Right. You know, we can't go use it on Cherry Street. Right. But you know, if we decide we only want to do part of it and go back, they'll take they'll take it back. So then we need to lose until the meeting for it. Right. Where we need to get together, street department get together, and then look at the numbers for Jane and finance committee. Make a recommendation. And that Susan Doe, that let her talk to Kim Keller, and we'll make her decision on that. When we move to the plan? Yeah. Okay. So you need a motion for her to table this? I'll make a motion we table it. Roll call. Rick? Yes. Joe? Yes. Nick? Yes. Ralph? Yes. Mary Jane? Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you very much. much. I hope I didn't muddy the water. <laughs> no. But no, 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 I'm glad, I'm glad you said that. Uh, we were unaware that we could do part of us not doing it at all, so that changes everything. Sure. Uh, and we might be able to do something now. Yeah, because it's a big chunk of change to commit to the whole thing. And yeah. Understand. There's no way we can do it all. There's no yeah. way. That's why I think, you know, why I think if it's, you know, if it's, there's a part of it that's worth trying to utilize the 74% grant money at, then we can figure that out. And you know, a scenario here that the commissioners, who knows how that's going to end up due to the vote and changes that's going to happen here, you yeah. know, or not happen. Yeah. It could be different after tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, Jane, where's that put us now? You're asking me? Yeah. Okay. Wait, okay, old business. The new business. No, we were in the resolution ordinance. Well, no, wait a minute. You have to, every time you do that, I have to let Mindy know that we're changing the budget. So you have a resolution here to. Cancel well, we don't resolution. know that. We don't know that until we have crunched the numbers to submit that to her, right? Right. So you don't we don't have to. Do this yet? No. Okay. No. I mean, we're, if we do, if, if we decide, if okay. we crunch the numbers and do nothing, and leave, leave, there's no reason to involve her. But if we change it, then we got to let her know, right? Yeah. Yeah. I think we can take so that. Because as far as she knows, we don't want that. Right. The fourth. New business, Billy and Jane's reviews are due. I'll take the bills till next month. Okay. There's no point in doing one for me unless you're going to give me a big going away bonus. Well, that's right, because Jane's looking at retiring, as you will notice, and possibly in May. Definitely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but anyway, you know, as it comes up yeah. that in January, we need to keep that in mind that we need to start uh, looking for her replacement. And how we're going to go about doing that, about doing that job of, you know, to people and putting it out there and uh, trying to find a certain replacement. And it'll give us time to start going through people and personnel. And I like uh, uh, Rick and Nick and Joe to handle that. Not that he gets anybody else, okay? <laughs> but they were on the finance committee and so forth, and I think that they would be businessmen as far as personnel and going through personnel and doing the interviews and so forth, I think that'd be the way to go. Since they do it all the time. Don't you? Well, they didn't know. I think the whole council ought to be involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, on their recommendation. 
we'll bring that those persons before council. Jane, what? Okay. In, in your That's thoughts, good. what 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 type of uh, training period do you think is going to be required? I would like at least two months or something at, at the very end. Jane didn't have that opportunity. She was pretty much thrown to the wolf. It's good with her background that she had her background that she does that she's been able to handle that. So we're looking at because it was a nightmare. Right. The problem, Two to three months at least. I agree. The problem uh, part of it is uh, the EIN system, the accounting system. I just got the new book on it. They're changing everything. And so I have to learn a new accounting system before January 1. And then I have to teach it to somebody. So there's no point in getting somebody in here right away when they're just going to have to learn one and then the other. So All after right. January Call Martha Hannah. I'm sure Martha can disappoint. She'll have the opportunity. Yeah, sure. But I don't think she would take it. She's a widow now. She volunteers all the time. I know she does. That'd be great. I mean, we'll publicize it. You know, everyone can apply. I mean, we'll have to put it in the paper. And whoever wishes or chooses to apply will apply. Be evaluated at that point. Martha is a great person. Awesome. I'll call her. The ocean day. I know what she'll say. Awesome. You want me to tell you what she'll say? Yeah, I know. Okay, great. Well, I think that covers pretty much everything that we need to do. Unless anybody else has anything else. Thank you. 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 Mary Jane, you have anything? No. You got to get up early tomorrow for the. Yes, I do. That's right, Ralph. Ralph, he does. No, he doesn't. You have anything that you can do? No, I don't have anything. Nick? No, sir. Joe? No. Rick? I make a motion that we have a nurse's bowl. That would be ready to go. Well, I am ready to go. But I'm not going to open up and ask anybody out here if there's something that they would like to address the council on. Yes, sir. My name is Chuck Long. I live at 502 East Cherry Street. Uh, the speed limit coming down Slant Hill or whatever there is Slaughterhouse Hill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only the only my wife and the lady that drives a zero turn mower does 25 on that road. Uh, they come down and doing 50, 45, 60. The only reason they stop is because the stop sign down there. They come by there flying all the time. You worry about money. They set me up in my front yard, I'll radar gun them and write out tickets right there. You can make enough money to do whatever you want to do around right here because it, it, there's no one doing 25. I don't believe Ralph would have brought something. I brought that up to you a while back about six months ago if you remember and I even suggested putting a stop sign there at the, at the uh, intersection of Lincoln and, and Cherry. And so that they'll have to stop them coming down that hill before they get to the stop sign at Spring and Cherry. I agree with this gentleman. This gentleman lives next door to me. And I've complained about that for a long time. And I spoke to you about it long yes. before I became a member of council. You're absolutely right. Yeah, and the hills is bad. And I agree with this gentleman. And I wish we could do something about that. He either put a stop sign up, do whatever we need deem necessary because there's a reason for that 25 mile an hour speed limit to be there been there for years and no one's obeying it. And you had mentioned to me that they put a three-way stop out there on Westwood Road because of that issue there that they had. That was one of our main concerns was right there is breaking the speed down. Yeah. You got another one there. There's a lot of children who was at that time was out in that area. And this gentleman here has a lot of in and out of a handicap situation. They come and pick him up in the mornings and let him off when he gets done with work. So there's movement around there for a handicapped individual. The school bus goes right around the corner and stops there at Lincoln in the mornings and afternoons. That's a very hazardous part of town right there. And we really need to do something, and I, I agree with this man. Uh, I agree with him because he's smart, so. <laughs> <laughs> you've got that all. You've got that all. Oh, 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 they, as soon as they get past that stop sign, it's Mario and Yeah, as soon as they get past our house, you hear it hammer down. Hammer down. They hammer down. So Holly, yeah. Holly Mills is the same one. I don't have an answer, but there needs to be something looked at 
for that to try to control that somehow because it's yeah, getting it worse, not better. With the school in session now and all the activities the school creates, makes it worse than in the summertime when there's no school. But it's bad all the time, but it gets worse during the school season. Since you and Derek are the safety committee, why don't you two get together with the chief and let's see what we can come up with? I would be happy to. Chief? Because it affects me too, where I live. And I live right next to where Nick lives. Nick lives on the other side of the spot. Let's see if we come up with a solution to the problem. Yeah, I mean, you know, probably my solution to the problem is going to be to kick it back on you guys because. Ralph, all you guys have seen us. We we run radar over there right. quite often. Right. We run a lot. And you can't be there 24/7. Right. Right. That's why I came up with the idea of the stop sign to help the situation yeah. out, so that they would have to stop there anyway. And that way, it would help the whole circumstances with with our gentleman and his condition, the school bus pickup, and so forth and so on. That was my first thought. Now that might not work as a freeway there, I don't know. There's a street light there, so it would be illuminated in the evenings. Uh, I, you know, I don't know why it couldn't be, but if you'll let us look into it, well, I'd be blessed if I'm going to try to come up with a solution. I know how it feels. Does anybody else have any questions on that? I say go for it. Let the safety committee, uh, you guys get together, see what you can come up with, and we'll see what we can do. We need to do both fields. Yeah, Mary Jean says she has a problem on her. Don't put her in. Yeah, oh, there Holly is. Mills, or... You've got a curve, though, right there for your house. That doesn't stop. We just got a straight shot. <laughs> <laughs> We're the street. <laughs> yeah. well, it's like you said, Cherry, though, they take on both ways. Yeah. The minute they go past that stop sign for me, I can hear the diesel just tired. hammer it down and fly up that hill. Tired is yep. <laughs> and I know the police that's over at the old school watching, but as soon as they're gone, it's going to be both ways. Chuck, I'm glad you brought that subject up. <laughs> can I sit out there and do citizen arrest like Martin Five? <laughs> 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 Does she give you one bullet? <laughs> 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 I was out there one time spraying my lawn. <laughs> and I was going to shoot the water out there and it went by. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let you guys pursue that out of See what you can do. If there's nothing else, then I need a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Roll call. Rick. Yes. Brown. Yes. Mary Jane. Yes. Nick. Yes. 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 Thank you, everyone.